and I here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Mad Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. Last week, the Panthers had a bye, but the week before that, they were at home taking on the Raging Cajuns, number 24 in the country, and the Panthers squeaked away with a 28-26 victory to stay undefeated and number two in the country. This week, they are on the road taking on Notre Dame, number four in the country. When this game was scheduled, they were number one. Can the Panthers stay undefeated? We'll find out next. Dame will get the ball first on offense, and they're working with their second, third, or fourth string quarterback. I'm not really sure. There was three on the injury report, I believe. Two or three on the injury report, but they get the first down carry there. It's first and ten now, and Gandy is going to take off again and get another first down on 11-yard carry. Very next play, empty backfield set. Gandy back to pass. He's going to throw it over the middle. Caught by Allen Cooley, and another gain of 10 yards or more for a first down, so that's three straight first downs. Gandy hands off to Smith now, who's gonna break a tackle and gain 10 yards. That's four straight first downs for the Fighting Irish. This may be the last big hurdle for the Panthers in making it an undefeated season as Smith gets the dump off on third down and it only gains two, and that's gonna lead to a Notre Dame field goal. They're up three to nothing. As the Panthers take over now, hand off to Anthony Gross. He'll go for nine yards up the middle. Third and one. Smith working from the shotgun. Will keep it himself on the read option. And he's going to end up gaining nine yards as well. Up close to midfield. First down and ten now. Smith under center. Back to pass here. Pressure coming. And he's hit. And it's a fumble. It's a sack fumble. And Notre Dame is going to recover. They take over in Georgia State territory here at the 34-yard line. Gandy back to pass, finds his receiver, Coles, Randy Coles for 10 yards, just short of that first down marker. So it'll be second and inches. Hand off to Smith up the middle. He's got the first down and more inside the 15, taken down at the 14. From there, it'll be first and 10. Gandy keeps it on the read option, and he is stuffed behind the line. A loss of three, taken down by Patrick Smith. Third down and six now for the Fighting Irish. Gandy got a fire, caught by Coles. He's right at the marker, and they give it to him. It'll be first and goal for Notre Dame from the four. Gandy hands off to Smith, trying to get outside, but he's taken down by Jarvis Hall for the tackle. A loss of two on the play. Second down and goal, Gandy back to pass. Lots of time here, fires and caught through traffic by Vincent Rogers, six yards, and Notre Dame takes a 10 to nothing lead here in the first quarter. Not something you wanna do on the road, get behind early. Smith on first and 10 will find Trevor Phillips. He's up to the 44 yard line, that's a first down. Very next play here, Smith back to pass again. He's going to dump it off to Luther Masson. And the defender goes for the interception. Instead, Masson makes the catch and gains 18 into fighting Irish territory now. Smith is going to pitch it out to Anthony Gross. And he's going to be stopped behind the line for a loss of five. Third down and 12 now for Georgia State. Smith back to pass here. Looking, firing, and knocked down by Deshaun Morris. And that drive that looked promising is now over. And Notre Dame adds a field goal to take a 13-0 lead at the end of one. Georgia State down by 13 as we enter the second quarter. Second and four, handoff to Gross. He's got the first down and a gain of eight. Second and 10 now for the Panthers from their own 33. Smith looking to pass here. He fires it over the middle for Josh Everson. He breaks a couple tackles here and makes his way into Notre Dame territory. A big pickup of 27. 
Second down and eight now. Smith back at pass, scrambling out to his right. He's going to fire back across the field to a wide open Anthony Gross. And that will go for 11 and a first down. Very next play, handoff to Gross up the middle, breaking a tackle and getting enough for the first down. Anthony Gross doing a lot here on this drive to keep Georgia State's drive going here. Second and five, handoff to Gross, and he's down to about the two-yard line. It'll be first and goal, Georgia State. Smith under center. We'll hand off to Gross, and he's into the end zone, untouched for the touchdown. Georgia State gets on the board, and now they are only down by six. 13 to seven now as Notre Dame takes over. Gandy back to pass on first and 10, and he's gonna go down, sacked on the play. And that is gonna set up eventually a third and six. Gandy back to pass here. He's gonna dump it over the middle. Roberts makes the catch, but he's taken down short of the first down marker and that'll force them to punt. The ensuing punt here, Everson back to return it, and he muffs it, but he picks it his own muff up, and he's gonna try to make something happen, but he's down at the 25. Second and five now for the Panthers. Smith back to pass here, over the middle, finds Terrence Flynn. That's a first down catch. Working from the shotgun now, Smith will fake the handoff here, fire outside quickly, Terrence Flynn with another catch, and into Notre Dame territory, 13 yards on that pitch and catch. Second down and 10 now, handoff to Anthony Gross, and oh, wow, he is leveled for no gain. We gotta get a replay of this. Oh, I'm surprised. Is he down and injured? No, he gets up. Surprisingly, his head is still on his shoulders. Third down and 10 now for the Panthers. Smith, working with the shotgun, will find Flynn for another first down catch, a gain of 13. Third and 19 now for the Panthers. Smith back to pass, and he's going to get pressured here. Shake off that first sack attempt, but the second one will get him, and that's going to be a loss of 15, and that will ruin the drive right before half, and Notre Dame takes a 13-7 lead into halftime. Georgia State deferred to the second half, and luckily they get the ball being down by seven. Smith on first and 10 will find Terrence Flynn over the middle for a first down catch. He's come up big in this game. Looking at the halftime stats, both these teams pretty even, both passing and rushing. It's just Notre Dame that has that one takeaway that turned into seven points. First and 10, Smith back to pass here. Steps up, fires deep, caught by Trevor Phillips. And he's got another first down for Georgia State into Notre Dame territory. Very next play, Smith looking to pass again, and he, again he's going to find his receiver. Tight end Lavelle Hampton. He's got enough for almost a first down, so second and one. Smith is going to keep it on a read option, and he's going to get outside here, inside the 20, taken out of bounds at the 13. First and 10 from there, Smith will hand off to Anthony Gross. Up the middle, finds blocking, and gets a first down. Almost gets the end zone down at the 1. First and goal, Georgia State, and Smith will hand off to Mark Barnes. Touchdown, Georgia State, and they're going to add the extra point to take the first lead of the game for the Panthers. And we have a studio update here. Number five, Alabama, losing right now in the third quarter, 21-14 to to Texas A&M. Notre Dame takes over in our game down by one in second seven. It's a pitch out to Booker, and Booker will get the first down. Very next play, Roberts in motion. Gandy back to pass, a quick pass out to Booker, and he's got one short of the marker, but a flag comes in. It's going to be a 15-yard face mask penalty, and that'll give Notre Dame the ball in Georgia State territory. Gandy is going to keep this one on first and ten, and he's going to go down. Brad Williams with the tackle there for a loss of five. Third and 15, Gandy back to pass. He's gonna fire, find Coles, and Coles is gonna be short, one yard short, and Georgia State thinks they have the stop, but Notre Dame's offense is gonna stay out there in fourth and one, and Gandy's gonna pitch it out to Smith, and Smith will gain just enough to get that first down and keep this drive moving for the Fighting Irish. First and 10, Gandy hands off to Smith up the middle and he's got enough for a first down, down to the 16 yard line. The drive will continue for Notre Dame. 
Third and eight now. Gandy back to pass here. He's going to lob this one up and almost picked off by Adam Monroe. Instead, that's going to be a field goal for Notre Dame, and they take a 16-14 lead into the fourth quarter. Georgia State knocking on the door here as we start the fourth quarter. It's first and 10. Smith going to keep it on the read option, and they're going to get him behind the line for a loss of two. Second and 12 now from the 14. Hand off to Stephen Leach. He's going to get outside, try to cut it back in here. Runs into his own guy, but still gets a gain of nine down to the three. Third and two now for the Panthers. Hand off to Leach up the middle, and he'll be stopped short. No gain on that play, and Georgia State's going to kick a field goal to take a one-point lead, 17-16. to Notre Dame takes over. Smith gets the handoff and gets a first down. Second and 10 now for Notre Dame. Gandy working from the shotgun here. Going to keep it on the read option. He's got the first down and more as he's going to outrun the defenders inside the 20. Will they catch him inside the five? Dragged down at the one and a half yard line. 62 yards on that read option. First and goal now. Gandy under center. Hands off to the fullback Johnson. And he's going to make his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And Notre Dame has taken the lead, and they're going to go for two to make it a touchdown lead here. Gandy hands off to Smith, and he walks into the end zone. Flag on Georgia State, and it's 24-17. As you look at the offenses here, both these teams playing just about even here. It's a touchdown lead for number four Notre Dame as Smith and the Panthers take over on offense. Second and 10, Smith is going to find Josh Everson for a 16-yard gain and a first down. Very next play here from their own 42. Smith back to pass. Going to throw that one deep to the sideline. Caught by Luther Madison. And it's another first down for Georgia State into Notre Dame territory. Smith now going to keep it on a read option here up the middle. And he's going to gain a big chunk of yards, 16 yards on that read option. Later in the drive at second down and 14. Smith back to pass here. Looking, firing to the sideline. Caught by Terrence Flynn. Down at the 10. It'll be first and goal. Georgia State. Can the Panthers come back and tie it up here? Hand off to Stephen Leach on first and goal. He'll get down to the five. Second down and goal now. Empty backfield set for the Panthers. Smith back to pass quickly. And Anthony Pendleton had it. Then dropped it. It'll be third and goal. From under center, Smith hands off to Anthony Gross, and he's going to get hit hard and get no gain on the play. Fourth and goal, and Georgia State's going for it. From the shotgun, Smith back to pass here. Looking, firing, caught by Mark Barnes, but stopped a yard short of the end zone. And Notre Dame's going to take over third and 12. If they get this one, it is over. Down to Smith, and he's stopped. For a loss of one, no timeouts. Georgia State is going to have 14 seconds to take over and get a touchdown to tie. Smith back to pass, throwing it outside. Off the mark intended for Luther Madison. Second down and 10 now for Georgia State. Their undefeated season hanging in the balance here. Smith, another pass off the mark, almost picked off. So it'll be third down and 10. Six seconds to go, last play of the game here. Smith drops back, throws it up deep, one-on-one, -on -one, and it'll be picked off by Walters and Notre Dame. Number four is going to take away that one and take this game at home. Kyle Gandy, your player of the game for the Fighting Irish, and number four Notre Dame defeats undefeated number two Georgia State 24-17. Taking a look at scores from other games around the country this week. Number 20, Wisconsin beats Illinois in Big Ten play, 31-17. Looking at the stats from our game today, it was the two turnovers that cost Georgia State this game. Not as much that last one, but that one in the first quarter. The fumble probably cost them this game. And the players of the game, Anthony Gross for Georgia State on offense, 53 yards, a touchdown. Nate Hawkins, eight tackles, three for a loss. 
And we do have some recruiting news. Wesley Wright, the athlete, I believe he is going to be a quarterback probably. He is a four-star athlete, number 31 athlete in the country. Commits to Georgia State over Minnesota, Baylor, Arizona. He's coming from Thompson, Georgia, so no wonder he wanted to come to Georgia State. And he has 81 throw power, 80 throw accuracy, and 73 overall. And Georgia State, first loss of the season. Really wanted that undefeated season, but they lose and move to number four in the country. So they still have a shot at the national championship game. If they can win out, win their final game, and get it to the Sun Belt championship game and win that, they'll probably still need some help, but it is possible. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.